VARs coming in to the elitist area for 2023. I, I saw recently Al Svenskan voted against bringing it in over there. Now, I hate it. I hate VAR. I, I was massively in favour of VAR coming in before it came in, but I hate it now. And uh, it's not just about the decision. It's about how um, you, know, you can't even celebrate a goal now properly. But is it from a coaching perspective now, what are your feelings towards it? Is it needed? And I know the referee said we need to bring it in because to, to conform into line with UEFA, it, it's a it's a fact of life, isn't it? That VAR is here to stay. But um, I mean, are you looking forward to it coming into Elite Surrey or not? I think there's been enough high profile incidents this year that means that it probably needs to be um, implemented. And I don't mean that to criticise then the, the level of referee because I have full respect for anyone that, that referees. I, I think it's a, a near impossible job. I have a bad enough time doing it on training during the week. So to do it with uh, an audience of thousands of fans shouting at you at the same time, it, it, you know, it is a big thing. But the reality is, is that, you know, people... As long as football is as, as valuable as it is, we've just talked about the money coming in and the consequences of decisions, that there needs to be an, an element of if someone makes a mistake, you have the ability to correct the mistake. And uh, and mistake is obviously subjective because what I hope doesn't happen and what I felt did happen when it was first introduced in England was the referees stopped refereeing. They just let the, the VAR deal with the situation. You can't have a foolproof... Uh, VAR you can't you know you can't have a completely objective game of football where every decision is correct there are going to be decisions where uh, they can be interpreted differently depending on certain things and I, and I think if VAR is done in the way that it's done in cricket where an umpire makes a decision and then it's reviewed and then there are some things that it's not out or not out it's just the referees or the umpire's call so whatever the umpire's called it as is the decision. And as long as it's done like that, so for example, for penalties, if it's if it's like, is there contact, is there not contact? If it's if it's not clear and obvious that someone's made a mistake, then just go with the referee's call. And that might that will go both ways. There'll be times where the referee gives a penalty and it might look soft, but it's not enough to overturn it. And it'll be the other way where he doesn't give it and it looks like it should be a penalty, but again, he doesn't give it. You know, the, the, the idea of VAR was always to correct completely obvious decisions, not marginal ones that are subjective. Offside, I think, is different because I think offside is black and white. And yes, it is extremely frustrating if he's offside by a big toenail, but it's, it's no different to a goal in that for me. But if the ball's over the line, it's over the line. There is no, it doesn't matter if it's over the line by 0.1 of a centimetre or if it's over the line by a metre, it's a goal or it's not a goal. It's the same for offside for me. Um, but in terms of the the decisions that are subjective, for me, the referee has to still referee and then it has to be used as a tool, nothing more than that. Uh, if you allow the VAR just to referee the game, then the game's dead. And that's, that's you know, then you you may as well not have referees anymore, just let the let technology take over. But um, I think next year will be chaos. I think it will be absolute Bedlam because everyone's got to get used to it. I've got to get used. I've never. I've been to one game where VAR has been used, and I'm as a supporter. So it's a new. It's going to be a new one for me as a coach. How do we? Uh, how do we handle decisions that go there and then at the time? Um, but you know, we just have to all get used to it and use the winter to to learn from that. I think that was very well said. Some of the best stuff I've heard, actually, from anyone about uh, VAR. I'm going to use that in some clips on Twitter or something. There was some really, I really agree with pretty much everything you said there. Umpires calling cricket. Not enough people can accept in football that there will be a lot of 50-50 decisions. So just go with the on-field call. And I don't think that's done enough. It, too many times a, a, a close decision is then overturned. It doesn't need to be overturned. But it's because people can't accept that it'll be 50, 51% of one and 49% of another. That's life. 